much longer I can hold out when it feels this strong There's a hunger in the night, night And I'm hard on a trail for you I've been up, down, and all around every single avenue There's a hunger in the night, night Only you, girl, can make it right You can run away, but you'll never be able to hide The hunger in the night Across the room you stand alone A vision in the night You ride on your own But don't be too surprised As I get near you realize That what you want might just be what you see Won't you rescue me? Rupert Holmes, Jonathan Holtzman, welcome to our series. Nice to be here. Be I'd here. also like to welcome Michael Troy, our nice uh, writer of that last song we just heard. I think I'll start off the conversation with you, Jonathan. Um, what was your overall view and as far as the presentation of the song? The presentation I thought was great. Um, good vocals, um, very pop, very now sound. Um, you think that helps in the selling of a song, uh, the, the production? Uh, okay, are we talking okay. about selling a song as an artist, or are we talking about selling a song well, to an artist? I don't know, Michael, are you uh, um, as far as a, I think as an, an artist. artist? Okay. On this point, at this point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. No, you sing real well, so yeah. you, Thank you. you should definitely go for that. Um, my only concern might be in if you're, if you're as an artist, you, you want to go for a specific sound. Um, the sound is, is very important as an artist, um, whereas a songwriter pitching a tune, it's, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think your vocals are really very, very strong, but the, the overall sound of the record, I, I was a little concerned if it might have been a little too similar to a record that's, that's been out there, just for your, mm -hmm. for your own identity yeah. as an artist. I was going to ask you that. Yeah, I wanted to true. know what uh, Rupert thought about that, too, if you heard any yeah, well, obviously, um, it's it, it would be hard to n not have been around this summer and and uh, and not notice that it, it does bear a striking resemblance in some ways, especially in arrangement. But but I don't find that as uh, necessarily uh, such a bad thing for someone who's uh, uh, starting out. Um, mm -hmm. I must tell you that given the alternative of uh, hearing a writer whose work. Uh, adheres to the rules and plays by the book, or someone who is total, totally anarchic in their writing. Mm -hmm. uh, for starting, out, if I were a publisher, for example, and I heard this, mm -hmm. I would at least say, "Well, this guy knows the rules." Now, I'm not saying that it's a formula Absolutely. song, but he knows the formula. I, uh, any part of me that might say, "Gee, that you know, that's reminiscent." There's a lot of people who have made a lot of money on reminiscent, and uh, <laughs> I, 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 I must say that I think it's. Uh, I'm impressed that someone can come in. I mean, m this is really could be a very good textbook song for showing somebody 
where to go right and where to be good. It's a good, clean, simple title, Hunger in the Night, evocative of another hit record right now because the word hunger is a big word, but that's all right because it combines a lot of images. You could, it, all I'm saying is that someone looking at this from a publishing point of view, certainly, I would think, would say, this guy's not going to give me too much yeah. trouble. He's very capable. Uh, if he can come in with this, then on any day of the week he could come in with a hit record for me. Now, for yourself as an artist, I do think it's very vital that you, that you pursue that first yeah. and foremost. I think almost every songwriter's got to first make that decision and if there's any possible way they can be an artist mm -hmm. in today's market then do so because it's almost impossible to get people to sing your songs it's much easier yeah. to get yourself to sing them you don't have as, you don't have to coerce yourself as we were well, <laughs> I was writing a lot of ballads for a while and um, that's the only hope I guess into trying to do something that was a little more up tempo and so this is what came of it. More. Yeah, just, ba know. ballads are, are a, a tough market right now anyway. But all, so what I'm saying is, yeah, uh, I think that uh, instantly the, the, you have a... Uh, how much of what's on that record are you playing? I get the thing quite a bit. Um, am I playing on that record? You're playing synth? A little bit of the synthesizer. The, the, the are the drums real the drums or are they, uh, are they like uh, Lynn no, drums? No, they're or? Lynn drums. They're Lynn drums. Okay, yeah. that's, there's nothing terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> all I'm saying is that I find if, if I were meeting you for the first time either as an artist or as a, 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 if, I were, if I were meeting you as an artist or if I were a publisher looking for a song, I'd say I'm going to listen to more things by this person because this Absolutely. person has a, a good sense of, of the mainstream and that's, mm. that's very good. That's very nice to hear. And a year ago I would have said you had a good sense of the avant-garde but uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit more in the mainstream now. <laughs> so, so, but that's good. That's a great departure yeah. point. You can't break the rules till you know what they are. A lot of people excuse what they're doing or the disjointed quality of what they do by saying, well, I'm trying to break through. Mm. But to know where to break, you must know where the resistance is. So I, I think that's nice. That's you brought up uh, the point about uh, writing ballads a lot before. Mm. You two have written so many songs. Do you find that you've run into that same uh, rut, maybe writing a lot of ballads, and then you feel like you have to maybe do a little up-tempo or maybe a little something different to vary yourself a lot more? Well, it's, I mean, I'm sure we all go through our phases of what we're sort of writing at the moment or, or, or whatever, but um, it's also, I mean, it depends if you're performing live, too, because you know what you need in your yeah. show, and you know yeah. what you got to plug in, so you sort of, if you're thinking that way, I mean, it depends what you're writing for. Um, ballads are, are are really hard as opening shots for a, for an artist, but at the same time, ballads are the big money makers too. They're big money makers, and and it's 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 a real tough decision to make when you're, you're going into that because the problem is that, that uh, a, a ballad is going to is a copyright and you're, you can if it, if it clicks for you you're gonna you know give me what I did for love and I'll sit there and take that over a lot of up-tempo songs because that's just gonna roll away year after year and be something that everyone in the world is gonna sing far too many times but the thing <laughs> is that uh, uh, the, for me what the, uh, the the truth of the matter is now Marvin will forgive me that. Uh, but uh, he doesn't mind he knows I feel like but, but uh, on the other hand <laughs> the, the, so ballads are tough, but by the same token, it's a little easier, I think, to, to take a ballad. There are more people singing ballads. How can I best phrase this? There are, there are more artists who sing s ballads written by other, other people. people than artists who sing up-tempo things for, mm -hmm. but written by hits, other yes, people. But, yeah. when, but they can be album cuts, you know, like the oh. artists will have all of their ballads. Because I think we all write ballads first. Yeah. I think well, that's I what happens. I was going to ask you, uh, up-tempo, do you think there would be an artist that could uh, cover that song? Uh, there are many artists that could cover it. Uh, I think in today's market, the wisest thing would be for Michael to push for him to be the artist to cover it because he's going to because if, because if it if it clicks, you can bet Michael Troy is going to write this follow up to that hit. You know because he's the artist. Uh, but certainly, um, uh, you could take this to uh, almost anyone that is doing commercial yet. Uh, 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 yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, Donna Summer came to mind for me. Donna Summer, very much so, yeah. Well, thank you. I think that was, uh, I think that was very helpful, Michael. Yeah, thank you for thank being you. with us. Good, good song, good uh, presentation. Our next well featured crafted. songwriter is going to be Janie Barnett, and she's going to be performing Good Honest Game.